so chapter chapter six i mean sorry chapter eight lesson six is inequalities now in the warm-up it says look at the situations below and we want to circle the numbers that are possible answers in each situ situation so for number one it says jessica spent more than five dollars at the arcade so what numbers would I circle there, Zachary? So we would circle six, seven, eight, nine, all the way down to 15, right? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was, oh. So number two says, less than six people rang the bell on the mallet game. Uh, John? Oh, yeah. Um, one through five. Very good. One through five. Very good. Number three says, there were less than 10 people in line for the Ferris wheel. Carson? One through nine. Less than 10 is one through nine. Very good. And number four, it says it costs more than six tokens to ride the bumper cars. Bryce? Six through 15. Six through 15? No. Uh, what is it? Seven. seven through 15, because it says more than six tokens, right? So let's take a look at Let's take a look at the actual sentences and see what tells us what the numbers are going to be, okay? So, for number one, it says Jessica spent more than $5 at the arcade. So, it would be, what tells us that it's going to be 6 through 15? Camila? Uh, the word more. Very good. It says more than, right, $5 at the arcade. Number two says less than six people rang the bell on the mallet game. What words tell me the, uh, the uh, symbol there? Less. Less than six, right? Less than six. There were less than ten people in line for the Ferris wheel. Okay? Very good. Less than ten people. And it cost more than six tokens to ride the bumper cars. Um, Alex? More than six. More than six tokens. Very good. So more, whoops, more than six tokens. Very good. So now we're going to write inequalities, okay? It says you can write an inequality to represent a situation. Um, example one says you must be over 20, uh, 12 years old to ride the go-karts. So, the first thing we're going to do here, you guys, is we're going to write the situation in words. We're going to define our variable, and then we're going to write our inequality. Okay? So, when we are looking at you must be over 12 years old to ride the go-karts, in words, it means that your age has to be over 12. Right? So... The variable, when we define our variable, we're going to let the age be equal to the A. Okay? That's the thing that changes for every person, right? So, if A is equal to the age, so that gives me A, the age, is over, that means it's greater than, right? 12. So, a pony is less than 14.2 hands tall. So, words, a pony is less than 14.2. Does everybody see how we got that from the, from the sentence? Yes. Uh -huh. Then we're going to define our variable. So, we're talking about how tall the pony is. So, we're going to let P equal to the height of the pony. The height of the pony is... 14. Less, well, it's not 14.2, it's less than 14.2. So there is our symbol, less than. So you can see that we're using these symbols, right? Those symbols are called inequalities. Is everybody with me? When we have this one, what does that one mean? That one means greater than. What does this one mean? Less than. Less than. Now, look at this one. Here, it says you must be at least 16 years old to have a driver's license. So, what words tells, tell, would tell me the solutions here? Right? At least tells me 
what the solutions would be. So here, at least, at least 16 years old, what would the, the solutions include? Zachary? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and so forth. So anything that is 16 years old or older. older. Very good. So here it is in words. Your age is at least 16 years. So your age is going to be A. So if A is equal to your age, and your age has to be at least 16, that means it has to be 16 years or older, right? Mm -hmm. So if it's 16, that means that A can be equal to 16, right? Yeah. Very good. So here, A is this symbol, 16. What does this symbol mean? Greater than or equal to. Very good. Let's write these down. Okay, so here are the symbols, and these are what they mean. So this one is greater than. This one, less than. This one, greater than or equal to. And this one, less than or equal to. Now, when you read this, you guys, we read from left to right. So when you read this, we can decide which one this is by moving left to right. So see this little black line? Uh -huh. What does it touch first, the big side or the little side? The big side. The big side. So that means it's greater than. You see that? Look at this one. What does it touch first? The little side. The little side. So this one is less than. Is everybody clear? So these are the ones you're going to write down. And I want you to make sure you write down the sentence, okay? It, uh, example A, problem A says, you must be older than 13 to play in the basketball league. So here, the words that tell me the inequality is that you must be older than 13 to play, right? So when I write this in words, if I'm going to write the sentence... We're going to write, your age is larger than 13. You see how I'm doing that? Because older than 13, that means your age is larger than 13. Then we're going to define our variable. So our variable is going to be the age, right? Whoever's age. It could be anybody's age, right? So A is equal to your age. Now, we know that it has to be older so is it going to be greater than, or less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to? It's going to be greater than. Is it going to be or equal to? No. No, because it has to be older, right? You have to be older than 13. If it was or equal to, then you it would say you're, you must be at least 13. You see the difference? All right. Um, letter B says... To use one stamp, your domestic letter must weigh under 3.5 ounces. So, in words, we would write, the weight of the letter must be under 3.5 ounces. The thing that changes is the weight of the letter, right? Okay? So, that's how we're going to define our variable, because that's how we know it changes. So... M will be the weight of the letter. You could use whatever variable you wanted. I just used M. So, because the weight of the letter, let's see, your domain, must weigh under 3.5 ounces, that means that it has to be less than. Very good. So, M has to be less than 3.5. Letter C says you must be over 48 inches tall to ride the roller coaster. So here, this tells us over 48 inches. So is that greater than or less greater than? than. Greater. greater than. Very good. Is it greater than or equal to? Just greater. Just greater than. Greater. Very good. So if I write this in words, we have your height must be taller than 48 inches. The variable is a thing that changes from person to person, so that's going to be the height, right? That's the height. So your height is equal to H. 
And then we said it has to be greater than. So H is greater than 48 inches. Letter D says you must be at least 18 years old to vote. So here we have at least 18 years old to vote, right? So in words, the sentence would be, you must be older than 18 years old, right? So what is the variable that's changing? Um, at least. What is the variable that's changing? Uh, you must be older than 18 years old. The years, the age, right? The age. So here, your age, we're just defining our variable, right? That we're going to use in our inequality. So A is equal to your age. So at least means which one? Good. So because it says at least, it's going to be greater than or equal to. So now we want to graph the inequalities, okay? So inequalities can be graphed on a number line. Sometimes it is impossible to show all of the values that make an inequality true. The graph helps you see values that make the inequality true. So sometimes you can't list them, right? So when you look at the inequality, I mean, when you look at the graph, because we have arrows and, and colored in lines and things like that, you'll, you can see that it will go on forever in one direction. Does that make sense? So here, um, before we begin, I want you to write this part, this little note here, okay? Um, it says, let me make it a little bigger, when, um, when inequalities are graphed, an open dot means the number is not included. So that's going to be a less than or a greater than. And a closed dot or a colored in circle means that it is included. And that's going to be a less than or equal to or a greater than or equal to. For the uh, example 4 and 5, it says graph each inequality on a number line. Here we're graphing n is greater than 9. Okay? So if I say n is greater than 9, what numbers will be included in the solution? So if I say n is greater than 9, n can be 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and so forth, right? 9 is not part of that solution. Does that make sense? So because 9 is not part of the solution, we're going to have a not colored in circle. You see that right there? It's just an open circle right there. So it says place an open dot at 9. That's how you... you plot that point because you, the important number is 9. You have to plot a point at 9. And in order for us to show that 9 is not included, it will not be shaded in. Okay? And then um, the values that lie on the line make the, uh, the sentence true. All numbers that are greater than 9 make the sentence true. So greater than 9 on the number line is on the left side or the right side? On the right side. So then you're just going to color in or shade on the right hand side of the, the number line. So this is what the graph looks like for n is greater than 9 is an open circle and a shaded on the right hand side of the line. Is everybody clear? Um, yeah. Now, example 5 says n is less than or equal to 10. Right? So if it says n is less than or equal to 10, what numbers are included in that solution? Very good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So 10 is part of the solution, right? It is part of the solution. So when we plot the circle at 10, it's going to be a colored in circle or a closed circle. So we're going to plot that point at 10, and because it's less than, that's on the left-hand side of the number line, and that's where we're going to color on it. So, for letter E, we want to graph A is less than 15. So the first thing we want to know is what is the important number? What is the important number? 15 is the important number. So we are going to have to put some kind of circle at 15. 
right? Mm -hmm. Some kind of circle. So now, when we say A is less than 15, what numbers will be included in that solution? 14, 13, 12. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, and 4, forever, right? So, the kind of circle, because we said 14, we did not include 15, right? We're going to have what kind of circle? Open. Very good. It's going to be an open circle. And now, because we are looking at less than, what side are we going to shade on? The left side. So you're just going to shade on the left-hand side. And don't forget to write your arrow. Yeah. So that's what it looks like. Fun. The next one says B is greater than or equal to 7. So what kind of circle are we going to have at 7? Okay. Ashlyn? No. The filled in circle. Very good. So that's going to be a colored in circle. You think that's your pen here. I want the wrong one. So we have a colored in circle at 7. And because it's greater than or equal to, right? It's greater than or equal to. Are we shading on the left side or the right side? Right. We're shading on the right side. Very good. All right. So if it's an or equal to, it's shading to the right. Now, I want to give you a little hint. A little hint because some I heard someone say that they went the wrong way. If we have, um, when you have your inequality and the variable comes first, like these, says A is less than 15 and B is greater than or equal to 7. If you have a less than and you make that into an arrow, which way is it pointing? To the left. So that means you're going to shade on the left hand side, right? If you have a greater than or an equal to, okay, it's great. And, and the variable has to come first. The variable has to come first in order for this trick to work. If you change that to an arrow, look which way it's pointing. It's pointing on the right-hand side. Is everybody clear? Okay. All right, example six says, a tra uh, traffic on a residential street can travel at speeds of no more than, no more than 25 miles per hour no more than 24 hour, miles per hour. So that means that it's 25 or less. It says here, write and graph an inequality to describe the possible speeds on the street. So here we want to let S represent the speed on the street. So S is my variable. The inequality, because it's no more than 25 miles per hour, it's going to be a less than or equal to, okay? Because 25 is included. So it's 25, 24, 23, 22, and so forth, right? So what kind of circle am I going to have at 25? A colored in circle or a not colored in circle? Oh, very good. We will have a colored in circle at 25. And I'm going to show you another trick here in a second, you guys. Colored in circle at 25. And what side are we shading on? On the left. Very good. Is everybody clear? So now I'm going to show you another trick real quick. Now, well, it's not really a trick. It's just a way to remember. If you have, if you have a less than or equal to, or a greater than or equal to, you're always going to have a colored in dot. Is everybody clear? So you're always going to have a colored in dot. If you have a less than or a greater than, that's going to be a not colored in dot. Is everybody clear? You got that? So if it has a line underneath it, it's included so it's a colored in dot. Make sense? If there's no line, it's not included, and it's an open circle. It's not colored in. 